Hi, wonderful. I was going to say Dunlap Elementary School. I'm from Dunlap, but hi, wonderful Seattle Public School students. If this is your first time joining, welcome. If this is your third time joining me and my special guest, then thank you so much. And if it's your first time, thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate you working hard during this hard time when you have to stay at home. I appreciate that you really care about your education and your goals, all right? So you're doing great. So like I said, I'm Ms. Palapil. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Dunlap Elementary School, and my special guest is my daughter. Introduce yourself, Ajane. Hi, my name is Ajane. I go to Dunlap too, and I'm in fifth grade. So. Before I tell you the goal I want you to achieve today, I'm going to do a little mental math with you, all right? So this doesn't involve any writing or paper. If you do have writing and paper, amazing, because I want you to have it for later. But let's start off doing mental math, okay? And really, really think about how you're going to solve a problem. All right, so the problem we have is this expression is 140 times 10. Now, think in your brain. How do we solve this problem without paper and pen or a calculator? How do we solve this problem? What strategies do you come up with? And at home, if it helps you, talk out loud. Talk to yourself. Or if you are watching this with someone else, tell them. Talk to each other. All right. Ajane, did you have enough think time? Yes. Yeah. All right. So at home, I want you to tell if you have someone with you, tell them how do you think you would solve this. If you don't, that's okay, just say it. Say it to the TV, laptop, smartphone, whatever you're on. All right, okay, Ajane, share yours, your thinking with us. How I think I would solve this is, since it has a 10, I would. Do you wanna come on this side and point? Is that gonna help you? Yeah. All right, sit on my chair, we'll switch. Ah. But since it has a 10 place, I would probably put the zero right there so we can make it into a thousands, please. All right, so let's, why don't you write? Can you write big and show us? Here, so you write. So like. And if you're at home, watch and decide if you agree, disagree, if you came up with other strategies. So tell us what you're doing. So I'm putting the 140 right here, and then and then put the 10 right here, and then I would drop the 10 and put it right here so it can make it 1,000. OK, now turn to them, face them, and explain it again. Explain your thinking one more time. So I would put, since, I, since there's a 10, I would use the zero of the 10 to put it in the 140 to make it a thousands place. So your product is what? And product means answer to multiplication. So this is a multiplication problem. So what is your product? My product is 1,400. Okay, so can we switch places now? Thank you for your thinking. And at home, did you do something similar to Ajane, or did you do something different? Hmm. So let me ask another question. Here we have 140, and we have to increase it 10 times. Did you also think about that? And this can be yes or no at home. Because you're not here, I'm just throwing out ideas that maybe you thought of. So 140 times 10, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this number has to increase by 10 times. And I know if we multiply a number by 10, 
it increases by one place value. Did you think of that? So remember, look up here. So remember, the zero digit is in the ones place. Ones place. Ooh, this marker is a little bit messed up. The four is in the? Tens place. Tens place. And the one is in the? Hundreds place. Hundreds place. And I know in fourth grade, you are learning how to multiply whole numbers by 10. And in fifth grade, we are really, really, really studying how to multiply is by 10 hundreds and thousands. So I know that when you multiply by 10, increases one place value. And her product, her answer is 1,400. So the, one, the zero digit in the ones place increased to the, what do you guys think? The zero digit in the ones place increased to the? Tens place. Tens place. The four digit in the tens place increased to the? Hundreds place. Hundreds place. And the one digit in the hundreds place increased to the? Thousands place. Thousands. And if you don't understand this, this was a really quick lesson. It was just to get your brain working. That's okay, okay? We are actually going to continue working on our decimal goals. So the first, in the first video, if you watched it, that's okay. If you didn't watch it, that's okay. We're just going to go through the goals. Um, and our first goal is Goal, I will understand and write decimal place values. And then the second day, our goal was, I will compare numbers with decimals. And then now I'm going to read our last goal and then you'll reread along with me, all right? So our last goal for this week is, I will solve using standard algorithm for subtraction and addition with decimals, all right? So let's call read. Ready? Go. I, I will, will solve using standard algorithm for, for subtraction, subtraction and addition with decimals. decimals. All right. So we're just going to go into it. We, we understand place value or we're still practicing. We are comparing, we compared numbers with decimals and remember we're still practicing. And now we're going to learn standard algorithm. How do we solve numbers? Um, using addition and subtraction with de decimals, all right? So let me go over here. Let me move this chair right here. My board's kind of messy, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use this side, okay? Let me see if I can make this. <laughs> all right, so we have Let's pick a number. Let's do, tell me who, how about let's do a random number. Three and eight, okay. Three and eight tenths, and we have to add it with what? Four. Four and seven. 17 hundredths. Let's read the equation with me. Ready? Three, Three and eight tenths plus four and seventeen hundredths. All right. Now we are going to break this up in expanded form so we can solve it in the correct way. Everyone say it with me. Expanded form. Expanded form. Expanded form. Expa Expanded form. Expanded form. There we go. All right, so we're gonna break this up and this number will be, what is this number? Three, three holes, holes. Three holes plus four. Four holes. Wait, we oh, have to. Oh, plus eight ones. Three holes plus eight. One. Let's, let's, let, if you, at home, let's, Let's use our, let's count with our place value. Ready? Tens, Tens ones. ones. So we have three holes and eight, eight tens, tens plus, what is this? Four holes and, four holes and, seven, and 17 
hundred. Wait, we have to break up our place value. So we broke up the ones, we broke up the tens, we broke up the whole, number four. Oh. And so what's our next digit? What's our next digit? One tenths. One tenths. Oh, I wrote a decimal, I need to erase that. Plus one, what? Seven. And then we hundreds. have plus what? Plus seven hundredths. Seven hundredths. So that's how we represent the seven hundredths. Because let's use, let's count with our place values again. Ready? Tens, Tens hundreds. hundreds. Okay? So we decomposed our problem by using expanded form. And now we can line it up and make sure each place value is in the correct place. So the ones are with the ones, the tens are with the tens, and what, what's next? The hundreds are in the hundreds. And the hundreds are with the hundreds, okay. So let's do that. So we have three holes, right? Yeah. What else do I put down? And eight. Where, where should I put my eight? If the hole's over here. After the point, after the end. So right here, like this? No. <laughs> no, in the, in the tens place. Wait, how about this? Maybe this will help us. Can we write the place value? Do you wanna do the place value chart? No. I do. Okay, so we have tens, right? Mm -hmm. Ones, and then we have tenths, and I think that's it. Can we stop? No, we have a hundreds. And also, if you have your place value chart at home that you used before, bring it out. This is great to really understand. So we have three holes, correct? So where should I put the digit three? In the ones place. So I should put the digit three, and then I have, what's this number? What's this digit? Tenths place. So where should I put? In the tenths. In the tenths place, right? And then where should I put this digit? In the... In where do you think at place. home? Where should I put four? In the ones place. In the ones place? Mm -hmm. And where should I put this number? In the tenths place. Or tenths place, right? And where should I put this digit? In the hundreds place. In the what? Hundreds. Hundreds place. All right. So let's put our decimal, 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 Decimal. Oh, I'm losing it. There you go. Oh, there you go. Did I do it right? Hmm? Mm hmm. And decimal. So, is all the digits in the correct place value? So she's doing the grease sign. Are all the digits in the correct place value? So the three and the four, is it in the ones place? Yeah. Is the tenths, the eight digit is in the tenths place? Yeah. The one digit's in the tenths place? Yeah. And then we have the zero from the zero, the seven hundreds. And then how about is everyone in line in the hundreds place? And then we need to put our no values. So do we have a value here? No. Do we have a value here? No. Do we have a value here? Nope. Do we have a value here? Nope. Do we have a value here? Do we have a value here? Do we have a value here? No. Do we have a value here? No. Do we have a value here? No. No. And that's supposed to be a decimal right here. Okay, this is a little sloppy, but now let's write it in standard algorithm, all right? So, tell me what number to write first. Actually, I'm gonna move over here because this is much, much neater. We've been working so hard on this board, 
Let's write it much more clearly, all right? All righty, so Ajne, tell me the first number in our place value chart that I should write. The three. Three, and three, digit three, mm -hmm. decimal, what else? Decimal zero, zero. Zero, zero. Next. Uh, decimal eight, zero. You forgot, okay. You forgot the zero digit. And the next one? Four. So we have four. And zero, zero. Zero, zero. And the next number? Zero and one, zero. Zero and one, one zero. zero. One, zero. Okay, and the next number? Zero and zero, seven. Zero, seven. All right, what do you notice about what I did? At home, say it out loud. What do you notice about what I did? What do you notice, Ajne? Oh, what I noticed about what I did was when what you did was you lined up the decimals and you didn't keep any place value without anything on it. What do you mean by anything on it? Like without a number on it, like do in you, the place value. Do you mean? I made sure when there's no value, I represented it with a zero? Yeah. All right, so now can we solve, let's go back to our expression, our first equation. Let's read it. Three, Three and, and eight, eight plus, plus four and seventeen hundredths. Okay? Oh, we forgot to say eight tenths, that's okay. Now, do you notice that every digit is in the correct place value? Yes. Okay, so can we solve? Yes. Does this look familiar, the standard algorithm for addition? Yes. And at home, if you're answering back to me, thank you so, so much. So we have zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus seven is? Help me out. Seven. Seven. Eight. Zero plus eight plus zero plus one plus zero is? Eight. Eight. And then we line up our decimals. Also, did you notice at home that all the decimals are in line? Because all the digits are in their correct place value, okay? And then we have three plus zero plus four plus zero plus zero. Seven. Seven. So what is the sum of our equation? Seven and 87 hundredths. Seven and 87 hundredths. That was a lot, right? We literally decomposed. Sit up, we're in school. We literally decomposed this number in expanded form. But here's a shortcut. I do want you to take a shortcut because you don't have to decompose every single number to solve using standard algorithm. You just have to make sure that all the digits line up in their correct place, okay? So what I mean by that is, instead of decomposing every digit like we did, what we can do is make sure our decimals are lined up, which will help us make sure that each digit is also where it needs to be in the correct place value, all right? So we had three and eight tenths plus four and 17, and if we line it up, I'm going to write it like this, three, and eight, and where should the four digit go, everyone? Right here. If I line it up correctly. Oh, under the three. Under the three, because three is in the ones place, and four is in the? Hundreds place. Four is in the? Hundreds place. Four is in the hundreds place. Oh. Let's count, the, ready? The ones place. Hundreds. Hundreds. Tens. Tens. Ones. One. So are they both in the ones place? Yes. Yes. And then are our decimals lined up? Yes. Yes. And the one, where do I put the one digit? In, behind, in, on the bottom of, below the eight. Below the eight, okay. And then where do I put my seven digit? Right next to the one. Right next to the one, okay. And this is 
instead of doing expanded form, we just made sure the faster shortcut to line up our decimals and line up our digits in the correct place value. And so what I put right here when there's no value? Invisible zero or zero. Yeah, a zero. Now, can we add it and solve using standard algorithm? Yes. Yes, so zero plus seven is? Seven. Uh-oh. Zero plus. What do I do? Did we get the same answer? Uh-oh, you guys, I'm so glad that I caught it. Ajane, what's eight plus one? It's nine. Nine, she told me eight. That's I didn't okay. say that, because she said. <laughs> that's okay, we make mistakes. So that's why I love that we did it two ways because when in math, it's like a big puzzle. You can do it one method, w one way, do a different strategy, just so many different ways, and you can correct your mistakes. So look, we just did a mistake. Eight plus one is? Nine. Nine. So the sum was 7.97. If you were at home and saying, that's wrong, that's wrong, they added wrong, love it, because I sure did make, a, we sure did make a mistake, or I sure did make a mistake, and we fixed it, all right? So zero plus seven is? Seven. seven. Eight plus one is nine. nine. And then three plus four is seven. Seven. So did we get the same sum? Seven and ninety-seven hundredths. Same sum? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 All right. So that is how to do standard algor algorithm with de when adding decimals and subtraction is the same thing. So when it, if it was some subtraction, we just make sure again, we line up what? What do we line up? Say it out loud at home. What do we line up, Ajne? The decimals. The decimals and we line up also the place values. Yes, the digit has to be in the correct place value, the correct spot, or it would not make sense and you would get the wrong sum, or if you're subtracting, the wrong difference, all right? And thank you so much, again, for tuning in. Appreciate your hard work during this hard time and continue working hard at home. Thank you, we enjoyed having you.